This lesson we're going to be updating some style properties of the above paragraphs to the button. So whenever the button is clicked, it's going to apply some dynamic styling. We've got an array of colors. We're also alternating for bold on the page elements. So they're going to be going bold and then they're going to be not bold and alternating the colors that are within the array. So it's all coming up in this lesson. Go ahead and go into the HTML. We already have a button on the page, so this will change the styling. And I'm gonna add in a couple paragraphs here so that we have a few more paragraphs to work with within the About section. So what this is gonna do when we uh, hit the button, it's gonna apply the styling. So label the button accordingly to apply styling. And then the JavaScript code is gonna select the paragraphs and then apply the styling to the paragraphs. And we're going to actually have three paragraphs here above the button and going into the JavaScript. So this is contained within the main and within the section. And I'll just give it a, a class of main so that we can identify it within the page elements. So going into the dynamic styling of the elements. So going into the JavaScript, I've linked it below here within my source for the JavaScript. First thing that we want to do is select the button using the document and query selector. Select the element with an ID of button one. And next what we want to do is we want to select all of the paragraphs. So using the document and query, query selector. So we want to select all of the paragraphs. We're using query selector all. And we want to select the paragraphs within the class of main, so all of the paragraphs that are available there. And within the console log for now, we'll list out what we've returned back for the paragraphs. So that gives us the three paragraphs within a node list. And we can go through the elements here and we can apply some styling to them whenever the button gets clicked. So let's uh, select those paragraphs and we're going to apply styling to them. I'm going to create a counter so the counter can be zero so that will allow us to select the paragraphs by its index value within the node list and we can make updates to the styling of the paragraphs. So looping through so whenever the button is clicked so button one add event listener the event that we're listening for is a click and then the action that's going to happen whenever the button is clicked will loop through the paragraphs, so for each. And that's going to return back each one of those elements. And for now, we'll log out that element in the console so we can see them. So we click Apply Styling, grabs all three of our paragraphs. And we're going to apply some styling to each one of those. Uh, we can select the paragraphs individually as we go through them. Uh, so let's make an update of those where we're going to be selecting the paragraphs. And this is going to be now from the element, style, and the color that we want to apply. And the color that we're going to be applying. So creating an array. Let's create a, an array of colors so we can loop through the different colors and this will give us some nice uh, colors to work with and we'll check to see if count is greater than or equal to and we'll do the array length if and, and if it is then we're going to set count back to zero to kind of iterate through each one of those and just wrap those within the curly brackets let's select the color that we have within the color counter there Let's increment the color counter, and that will give us varying color values for each one of the page elements. So allow us to filter through those page element colors. And we can also toggle the bold, so we can check to see if the current font weight is bold. And if it is, then we'll set it to not be bold. So we'll increment through each one of those and we'll pick up the index value. So if index, so if there's no remainder for the index, then we're going to set the element style 
Otherwise, we'll just remove out the bolt. So that will just be default. So that will also be toggling the bold on each uh, alternating paragraph, as well as alternating colors. We can just remove out the console logs now, so we don't need them anymore. And we can also make some adjustments to the code as needed. So you can also see when you do the inspect on the code that it's updating the font weight and the font color. And right now it's not alternating, so it's based on the index value. So we can also update this to be uh, depending on what the count value is. So instead of an index value, count value. So that will give us alternating bolds as well on the page elements.